since I have a little downtime, I had to swing through the terminal and get this trailer inspected. Knowing this terminal, probably going to take till the night to get out of here. But since I have some downtime, I want to talk about Apostle Geno Jennings and his fake oneness doctor. The Pentecostal oneness. However you want to look at it. Geno Jennings and his fake oneness doctor. Now, Geno Jennings is on record year after year after year after year saying Trinity is not in the Bible. I'm sure everybody can agree that Genesis is on record. Trinity ain't in the Bible. Trinity is not in the Bible. Trinity ain't in the Bible. Trinity is not. Trinity is a lie. He's on record saying that. But Oneness is not in the Bible either. <laughs> if Trinity is not in the Bible, and you saying that's a false doctrine, oneness is not in the Bible either. So if oneness is Trinity is not in the Bible, it is deemed a false doctrine. Oneness is not in the Bible either. Therefore, it should be deemed a false doctrine. Am I right? Of course I am. But I'm told that Jennings actually don't believe in the oneness doctrine. Jennings said there is one in heaven, God. Jesus said, Jesus said, Jesus is God. Period. But I'm told, Jesus said years ago, in private, amongst a lot of few other elders, preachers, that he believed Jesus is in heaven with the Father. It's on record. I mean, many people, a few preachers, I ain't gonna say many, a few elders, a few preachers have said that. People been telling me that over the years. Jesus actually don't believe in what he's preaching. And Jesus been dodging a certain preacher out of Alabama for years. All these debates y'all seen, have seen a certain preacher for the last 15, 17 years been calling Jennings, asking Jennings for a debate. Now the Jennings Knights live in YouTube comment section. Everybody that speaks against Jennings and call, why don't you go, why don't you go debate him? Quit talking and go debate him. Well, a little short um, elder out of uh, Mobile been trying to get Jennings to debate for years. I used to follow Jennings. Let's set the record straight. I used to follow Jennings. When I start, when I left my churches around Memphis, when I fell off these churches in Memphis, I found came across Jennings almost about 15 years ago now. When I came across Jennings, I fell in love with that preacher. That hardcore preacher. For about 12, 13 years, I was dead set on Jennings. Jennings was all I wanted to hear. Jennings was all I wanted to hear. He drove me in the way he preached the common thing. Preach against all the stuff you see and all, you know. Years, I was gone. All I wanted to hear was Jennings. Man, I like that hardcore preaching, real preaching. Jennings started talking about the Son of God. 
He started talking about the flesh, how God got in a body suit and all that stuff. I started paying attention to that stuff. This is around about the same time that I started realizing through somebody else that listened to Genesis like one time and said they didn't like him. And I started paying attention, you know. Still took me about another two years or so, two or three years to really realize then I started hearing him talk about the body. I tried to wrap my mind around that, the body. God came down, wrapped himself in that flesh and all this stuff. Then the flesh is nothing. The flesh don't mean nothing. The body didn't mean much. It died at the, at the tomb. It died on the cross, actually. I tried for a while to wrap my mind around it. But Jenny, I just couldn't get it. I just couldn't get it. And I started, around about that time, I came across the elder out of uh, Alabama. He started preaching. I started listening to him preaching, and listening to that stuff. And he started, and I was listening the way he was debunking uh, 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 Jenny's among with the other stuff he was saying that I was already seeing about Jesus, about his personality and stuff like that. Yo, I say, Jesus got a lot of characteristics as Dow. He done calmed down over the years. He really calmed down when IUIC got on it. That's when he really started coming down. But the elder in, in Alabama been on record trying to get Jennings to debate for a long time. Invite him down to the radio station. Invite him there. I mean, been calling him out, calling him out. Tony Harvin, been, Tony Harvin even tried to broker a debate one time, a couple of times, with Jennings on his platform. Jennings was inviting, was, was treating wine olds in Sunday school teachers and pimps like royalty. Bring them up, fly them up, or bring them in, treat them good, just to destroy, embarrass them, and destroy them in debates. All the while, Elder Murray was still trying to get Jennings to debate. So after Tony Harvin got involved, tried to get Jennings to agree to a debate, he changed it. He was sending, he was sending other people invitations, writing them letters, officially invitations. And they would accept. Jen, Jen is on record, sending them invitations to debate. So when Tony Harvin got involved and tried to broker a debate between Jennings and Elder, Jennings changed the tactic. You don't need no invitation. If you want to debate, just come on up here and debate. Just, just walk on in the first church and debate. He was trying to suckle Elder, already knowing that he wasn't going to take that. What, what man in his right mind going to do that? Jenny Smart, he knew what to do. He had to figure out a way to get around Tony Harvey. Jenny's did. Because he liked Tony. They teamed up. So, Tony Harvin is one of Jenny's men. So in order to get around Tony Harvin, to make it look like he's not trying to dodge Elder, he come up with a tactic. You want to debate? I ain't dodging nobody. You want to debate? Because the word was getting around, Jenny's dodging Elder. Jenny's dodging. It was getting around. So what he did, he going he gonna to get on TV and, and issue an open challenge. If you got something you don't like, come on up and debate. You ain't got to have no invitation there. Walk on up in first church. That ain't, that ain't the way you do stuff. 
That's not the way you do it. I said something to Tony Harvey back then. This been about, what, four years ago now? I was in comment section being then. I was in, you know, I said, Tony, I said something to Tony Harvey when that stuff. I was like, that ain't professional. You know, good and well, in your own mind, that's not right. Then he will pair that stuff. Uh, uh, Elder, Elder scared to come up to first church and debate Genesis. He's scared. Genesis already said, Tony, do you know that ain't right? You know that's a setup. You know that's a setup. You know it's a setup. What man in his right mind going to do something like that? You uninvited. Genesis is a snake. Genesis always have been a snake. Genesis on record recently lying about some some about a, a preacher now that he claimed he didn't know. He was interviewed and asked about why he didn't do it or what was he there doing something about it. Genesis actually lied and said he didn't know the man. You can tell the way he reacted, he didn't know. I mean, uh, he was lying. He knew exactly who the man who they were talking about. Well, I, I'm not familiar with that guy. I believe what they've been saying about Genesis over years. He's a big liar. I seen the stuff. I start once I fell off of Genesis, hardcore preaching and started paying attention. I started seeing all that stuff. The man just like Dow in a lot of perspective. They lie, deceive, hide behind people, use folks. Jennings would not accept a debate between him and Elder Murray no matter what. Elder, Elder was calling Jennings out long before, from my knowledge, Elder was calling Jennings out long before you see any of them debates with them other guys. I think one of them dudes done died. One, that one that had glad, had the shades on, I think he died. He up there debating nobodies. Them, a lot of them guys weren't even in the church. He just did that stuff. for attention. He just did that stuff for uh, uh, the, the views and stuff. Jenny's motive for preaching and having them debates wasn't right. His motives for, his motives for having debates ain't never been right. The man of God a pastor act like that? Elder been calling the man out for years. He would not accept that debate. No matter how, well, you want to debate? Oh, just come on up here. You don't need no invitation. Come on up. IUIC showed up. What happened to them? They still waiting outside for a debate. Now, I don't agree with them. I do not agree if they can gather all them thousands and hundreds of men together, them however many they got to go out and attack churches and come against churches, we don't need police in our neighborhoods. If they can do all that, unify around the country, all the city, they got them in Memphis, Tupelo, Jackson, they got them all around me, surrounding areas. If they can do all that, why do we need police in our community? There shouldn't be any dope dealers in our community. All them guys claiming IUIC with Christ, all that, them guys see a, them guys see a murder. You think they gonna come forward and testify? They see crime done. You think they gonna come forward and testify and turn people in? They ain't gonna do it. They just full of hot air. Now, I don't believe them guys, but I'm going to use that. Jenny sent two old, two elders out there. He was down there scared. He was down there shaking. 
shooting all them wolf tickets. Now, they think them said, they, they did write Genesis a letter. They asked for an open invitation. They asked, and he denied it. Jen stand up in them poor pit and beat his chest all them years and do all that. Now when people ask him for that, then he denied Elder Mary. He has yet. And I'm convinced right now he would never debate Elder Mary. Suddenly, I want I want the Wells. I want the big people, Jakes and all them. But you would just debate him, people. That would absolutely nobody's in the ministries. Suddenly now the requirements done change. I ain't dodging nobody. Well, sure do seem like it. Yeah, the murder trying to get to the radio station. You got a church down there in Mobile. He tried to get you to a radio station. He tried to get you to debate anywhere. Yeah, the mayor said, I will come to your church. Just write me an invitation. Make it official. So it won't seem like that. I'm just barging my way, and you call the police and have me kicked out. That was church. That, that was Jenny tried to set up. I already knew an elder wasn't going to go for that. He already knew that. Now, Tony Harvin and C-Rock, They don't mind opening their mouth and talking about Elder Murray. Elder Murray, all he do is preach against uh, Jennings. He just, he just hate Jennings. Everybody that preach against Jennings hate Jennings. Elder Murray been preaching against Jennings. That's all he do. But Jennings been preaching against Jakes, Osteen, Dollar, White, Mao. Jennings been preaching against all the preachers, all the big name preachers, which I, I don't care because he's right about them. But we can't parade. They want to parade Jennings. Yeah, yeah, Jennings right. Yeah, he preached against them. Yeah, he right, he right, he right. But then when it comes to somebody else preaching against Jennings, oh, they hate us. They hate us. They're haters. He a hater. All he do is preach against Jennings. Jennings built his reputation on preaching against uh, Jake's now. So now, anybody preach against Jennings is a hater? So are we calling Jennings a hater too? As well? No, they ain't doing that. Even Dow. Dow's a hater. Pastor Dow's a hater. Pastor Dow's a hater. Ain't Jennings a hater? He preach against folks. When Jenny was building his platform, building his, and he still beat up on Jake. He still preached against them, still. So he's not a hater. Tony Harvin ain't no man of God. C-Rock. Yeah. But, you know, I defended C-Rock against Pastor Dow. I'm not really necessarily C-Rock because I believe they just go on Jenny, but I did defend him on Pastor Dow. When Pastor Dow attacked him there Friday night, it's on record. I said it. It was on my other channel. I came out against Dow. I defended C-Rock because Dow don't have no respect to people. He get drunk. Dow really ain't no respect for He get drunk. He gonna say all, he don't have to get drunk to say anything. Dow is that type of man. He'll talk about you. He don't care. He live in his own world. Dow ain't, Dow call he a man of God. He's not a man of God. He a man of the devil. I ain't scared to call a person false prophet. I, if I know you don't, I've been, I'm 46. I know the Bible. I know enough of the Bible to be able to call a man a false prophet. I ain't got to follow no man no 20-something years. 
before I be, realize he a false prophet. If you have discernment of the Holy Spirit like you claim to do, it don't take that long. It don't take that long. Well, you fought a genius for you, yeah. Until I realized I thought Jesus was really a man of Jesus. He claimed Jesus. He said he believed in Jesus. Yeah, he believed in Jesus to be the entire Godhead. Some preachers are not false prophets starting out. They er they can error. You know, if they don't get it back on track, they eventually become a false prophet. And right today, I can say Genesis is a false prophet. Dow definitely is a false prophet. Dow was a false prophet from the beginning. He's still trying to make excuses. He's still bringing them jack legs up to try to defend him. Just admit that you've been wrong, Dow, and dismantle that mess you got going on up there. It's only going to get worse, not better. Dismantle that mess. You're not a man of God. You're not, you're not willing to admit when you're wrong. You want to throw everybody under the bus. Well, this one, this one about Dow. Let me get back. Yeah. I call that debate with that with Jenna's head with that big dog fella from Kojic. I think his name Chris. Now I'm finna show y'all something. Jenna's been saying for a long for a long time that the Trinity is not in the Bible, right? Trinity ain't in the Bible. Trinity is not in the Bible. Trinity is not in the Bible. He say that. Show me what a trend in the Bible. Show me, show it. I dare you to show me what a trend in the Bible. Okay. We know, we everybody can agree that that's what he said, right? Well, that black guy asked Genesis, is oneness in the Bible? What did Genesis do? He immediately turned to Williams. Williams, Johnny on the spot, and went to, to Old Testament. Hear ye, O Israel. The, our God is one. The guy asked him, is oneness in the Bible? Oneness. Genesis went to this Bible and found the scripture say one. I know. Oneness come from the root word one, but still at the same time, oneness is his own word. Look it up. Look up the definition of oneness. So again, Genesis is oneness in the Bible. The word oneness. Can you find the word oneness in the Bible? Yes or no? You say Trinity not in the Bible. You, you clearly say that. Trinity is not in the Bible. You don't have no problem saying that. But is oneness in the Bible? Yes or no? Forget trying to find scripture. Yes or no? Answer that question. Jesus didn't answer that question. So you have to pay attention. Is oneness in the Bible? No, it's not. So where do you get the oneness from? <laughs> where, did the, where did the word oneness come from? We know oneness is a word because it have a definition behind it. I just looked it up. So, is one is in the Bible. Anybody can ask, it, this, this question is for everybody who believes in the one. Is one is in the Bible? Yes or no? No. Okay, so where do one is come from? Where did it come from? Who introduced it? Who introduced that doctrine of oneness? It's not in the Bible, so it definitely didn't come from the scriptures. So where did it come from? 
If y'all can say Trinity is not in the Bible, then it, that goes for oneness too. People say Trinity. I'm not real a Trinitarian. I kind of believe it, but I'm more like what the, what the apostles say. What about it? I'm with the apostles. How they call it? I believe what the I believe it just like the apostles is on record. There is one God. There is but one God. First Timothy chapter two verse five. One God and one mediator. Between God and men, who is that? The man Christ Jesus. Okay, let's go. Let's go to uh I think it's first John. About the first chapter, around the first verse. Let's see what it says. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us and truly our fellowship is with the father and with his son okay that sounds good I'll take that but it's not really what I'm looking for okay here we go second John first chapter verse 3 Grace be with you, mercy and peace from God the Father, from God the Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. The Son of the Father, in truth and love. If we say oneness, we taking that we taking away somebody. Somebody's being crossed out. Jesus is God. Period. Jesus is God the Father, and Jesus is the Son. And Jesus is the Holy Ghost. Well, some people don't even the one I don't know the one is add the Holy Spirit. Yeah, they do add it. God is all three. The Trinity. Believers, God the Father, God the Son, Holy Spirit are separate, but one. The Bible do say there's three in heaven. You can't exclude that. There are three in heaven, but these three are one. So, if you exclude somebody and say it's a oneness, you're taking away something. You're not following the scriptures. The apostles didn't have no problem. They wasn't confused. If it wasn't father and son, and the Bible say, the son inherited all things. The father gave him complete control. All power has been given to me. All authority in heaven in the earth. So you're going to step and preach the oneness and boldly say Trinity is not in the Bible, then you will have to say that oneness is not in the Bible either because it's not. Can't nobody point to that Bible, this Bible, and say oneness is in there. You have to describe it. You have to make up a oneness. That's what Jesus, when Jesus was asked directly, is oneness in the Bible? What did he do? He got Williams on the spot. Already had their scripture ready. Hear you, O Israel. Now, ain't it funny how Jesus always want to go back to the Old Testament? Every time he get a debate and get caught, he went back to the Old Testament and had an Old Testament. He stay away from the New Testament until it's convenient for him. Elder Murray, if Elder Murray ever get him in debate, 
it's over. He used Williams for a crutch. Williams know a lot more Bible than Genesis. Genesis get caught up very easily. I noticed that. Genesis get caught up. Remember that guy? Well, that down in Jamaica somewhere that was in the audience talking about repentance and he stood up and challenged Genesis. You see how Genesis stumbled? Genesis got, Genesis got Side caught. However, I'm just saying side caught. Jenny stumbled. Jenny like, uh, uh, he tried to quote verse. He cried. William quoted a scripture, read a scripture. Jenny was lost. He was like, repeat that again. William is the fixer. You take Williams away, Jenny ain't got no defense. Jennings do not know the Bible as well as uh, Williams. He can quote scripture, he knows scripture. Williams know a, hot, a lot more. Williams used to believe in the one in the Trinity. Jennings took that away from him and gave him the oneness doctrine, which is a lie. If the, if the Trinity is a lie, the oneness is a lie too. Because you can, just like Jennings said, you cannot find Trinity in the Bible. You can't find oneness in the Bible. So, how is it okay for Genesis and everybody else to use the oneness doctrine, but the Trinitarian doctrine, that's a doctrine of the devil? It can't be. It cannot be that way. You got to be able to deem both doctrines a doctrines of the devil in that case. Ask Genesis. Y'all ask Genesis about that. Is one ask any one is Pentecostal preacher? Is one is in the Bible? Ask them for direct scripture to say one is in the Bible. They ain't gonna do it. They can't do it. They got to try to manufacture stuff. But we believe grace be with you, mercy and peace from God the Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the other Father, in truth and love. He is the Son. Your salvation is in the Son. You can't have one without the other. The Bible say both. Our fellowship is with God the Father and with His Son. How you going to ask out what the Scriptures say? It's required. That's the formula. That's the ingredients. To salvation, both. It don't matter. Yo, the son came from the father. Somebody said, "Well, he went back to the father." No, he, yeah, he went to the father, but it, it, but he still lived out from the father. The Bible says he sat at the right hand of the God when he went back to him. He sat down on the right hand of Majesty, God, right hand of his father. So y'all cannot say. They are one in heaven. When the Bible says there are three, when you add the Holy Ghost, y'all are taken away and adding how you see fit. But on the other hand, the Trinitarians are condemned to hell. In y'all eyes, it can't be that way.